English is a piece of cake. I can totally conquer English. I will use English. I will learn English. I will live in English. I am no longer a slave to English. I am its master. I will believe English will become my faithful servant and lifelong friend. In January 2009, Michael started a tutoring company called Beautiful Sound English. The quality of Michael's English always startled me. For someone who had never left China, he was clear and articulate, and he made relatively few mistakes in conversation and in writing, largely because there was almost nothing he wouldn't do in the name of improvement. When a music teacher suggested that he hone his pronunciation by holding up a mirror and making exaggerated movements of his mouth, Michael did that even while riding the bus. It, it attracted some strange looks. Most of all, Michael scoured the internet to find English recordings that appealed to him, and then he recited them over and over to hone his accent. He read me one of his favorites. Something amazing is happening at Verizon Wireless that will change the way America talks. <laughs> something big, something bold, something new. Listening to him, I realized there was a universal quality to the sound of salesmanship, even if you didn't care what you were selling. Now and then, Michael asked me to take a look at his Chinese writing or to polish the grammar of the English passages he wrote for his students. I was often struck by how comfortable he was putting himself at the center of the story. Earlier generations in China were less comfortable doing that. I asked his father to talk about the three decades he spent working in a coal mine. He said, all mines are dangerous. It was very hard at that time. We earned about 60 yuan per month. And that was all he had to say on the subject. Michael, by contrast, saw in his own life an epic fable of frustration and triumph. He wrote, I was extremely lonely and confused from 2002 to 2007. I wanted to be someone great. I didn't want a commonplace life. Was I really destined to be a failure? What should I do? Maybe I was doomed to be an ordinary person. The prospect of conformity offended him. He wrote, why should I be like everyone else just because I was born to a poor family? He framed the study of English as a matter of moral entitlement. He told his students, you are the master of your destiny. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be different in this world. Thank you very much. <laughs>